Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Gretchen Curry. I am the founder and president of Staff Link. Staff Link is a private duty and home health care company that has been servicing the St. Louis area for over 34 years. I am here today representing Staff Link, and we are also representing Senior Service Options. Senior Service Options is an organization made up of business owners who service seniors in the St. Louis region, and we offer educational programs for seniors and their families. Today, I am here with Brooke Grubb. I am thrilled to have Brooke. Brooke has a master's from the University of Central Arkansas in Family and Consumer Services. She is a licensed dietitian and a registered dietitian. She is licensed by the state of Missouri and she is registered by their national organization. Brooke currently is the supervisor of food and nutrition services at Aging Ahead. Aging Ahead is a regional nonprofit that services the needs of seniors throughout this region. Brooke is here today to share with us about seniors and dehydration. Welcome, Brooke. Thank you so much for having me, Gretchen. So Brooke, we are gonna start with our first question. Just tell us a little bit about the services you provide as a licensed dietitian and as a registered dietitian. So one of my main job duties is through the Older Americans Act. Um, we do provide um, meals with a certain nutrition content that meets standards um, as per the state of Missouri. So one of the things that I do is complete menu development for all of our senior centers and make sure that they meet that nutrition requirement so that we have a good, healthy, nutritious meal for all of our participants. Um, one of the other uh, you know, big tasks that I take on is doing one-on-one -on -one nutrition counseling with any of our participants who um, request it or for you know, our staff who may point out a participant who might need uh, a few more answers um, or any questions that I can help provide regarding resources to um, nutrition or access to nutrition um, or just more information. Oh, okay. I didn't know you, did, you provided one-on-one -on -one services. It's good to know that. Yes. So Brooke, question, our second question. What is it important for seniors, their families, and people like myself in the senior industry to understand about seniors and dehydration? Well, as we age, one of the biggest concerns is that we um, don't get that thirst cue as much as we do um, in our earlier years. So our body's really attuned to telling us when we're hungry, when we're thirsty, when we're tired. And as we age, sometimes that cue isn't as sharp as it once was. Um, additionally with that, our kidney function tends to decline. We tend to hold less muscle mass. So we're holding less water in the body. And all of those things can contribute to not getting adequate hydration. Um, so, you know, there are some markers as we age that can um, lead to dehydration or things that might put you at risk for that. So that's definitely something to, to be mindful of whenever uh, you're dealing with an aging population. Oh, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what those markers are? Yeah, so your signs and symptoms that you're looking for um, for dehydration are going to be, um, you know, dry mouth, uh, obviously increased thirst can be one, um, you know, infrequent urination or urination that's like a darker color can tend to be a pretty big sign that you're not adequately hydrated. Um, and then even as far as like confusion, um, lots of fatigue, muscle cramps, those are a little bit more severe signs that you can find with that as well. And that can be caused by a number of things. Um, it really could be just caused by not drinking enough. Um, also certain medications that um, can cause you to urinate more frequently or to sweat more frequently can uh, contribute to loss of that body water. So just staying on top of that um, to make sure that you're staying adequately hydrated will help. So uh, another question that I have then is, are there particular diagnoses that might put you at more risk 
um, for dehydration or you should be more on top of the fact that dehydration is an issue? Are there particular diagnoses? Um, it really does depend. So that's kind of one of the other things with, um, you know, nutrition and hydration is that unfortunately we can't paint everybody with the same brush. Everything is very circumstantial and it's a person by person basis. So depending on what your, um, you know, what your starting weight was, if you had unintended weight loss, um, some people have changes in dentition, in dentition that can change how they, um, you know, eat or drink. Um, some people can develop swallowing problems as they age that can affect how they eat or drink as well. Um, so it really is dependent on, you know, all of those things together. Um, you know, one thing that I've seen in my experience is like a lot of chewing and swallowing difficulties. So mm. like suffer a stroke, Parkinson's disease, dysphagia, any of those can make it really difficult for you to get adequate fluids, especially if you need thickened liquids. Um, and then additionally, as I mentioned, medications too. So if you're on any like medications that would cause frequent urination or sweating, that'll um, push a lot of that excess water out as well. Okay. Uh, that's good to know. I think those markers are good for people to know. So my next question, Brooke, Brooke is how should seniors, their families, and industry professionals work with a senior to address dehydration issues? Yeah, well, especially during the summer, it's very important. You know, we're at much higher risk for heat stroke or heat exhaustion. So making sure that you have uh, some kind of liquid readily accessible. Um, water is really your best bet. But if for some reason, um, you know, you don't have as much access to water or clean water, then other liquids like juices, broths, um, sports drinks, I wouldn't recommend unless you're like doing a lot of sweating or things like that, especially if you have um, decreased kidney function, because those electrolytes make it really hard for the kidneys mm -hmm. to filter out. Um, so water really is your safest um, recommendation as far as being able to rehydrate the best. Okay. Okay, great. So um, focus on, uh, drinking plenty of water. Absolutely. And I will say too, once it starts getting to the more like heavy symptoms. So if your loved one or someone, you know, is experiencing like delirium or confusion, um, they're experiencing a lot of like muscle cramps and fatigue. It may be time for them to consult their doctor, you know, uh, rehydrating at home might not be doing it. Um, and especially if they're getting to, you know, very severe um, confusion or weakness or, you know, so much fatigue that they can't stand or any of those symptoms that might be time to, you know, seek medical attention in order to rehydrate. That's good. That's good information. And, that, that, and that's good to know. Um, because I know we have had clients that have um, had to go to the hospital to be hydrated uh, because of dehydration. So Absolutely. my next question is, do you have any local resources you might want to share with us about addressing dehydration? Well, I'd love to share um, about aging ahead. Um, so we service uh, four counties, St. Charles County, St. Louis County, um, Jefferson County and Franklin County. We have centers in all four. Um, and, you know, of course, feel free to call our center office and we'll get you um, assigned to whichever center based on your zip code. Um, we provide meals five days a week. Um, we have a lot of really great um, community options and services staff that are able to help with any other needs, um, you know, and we've got a really great staff that care about seniors in our community. So we really look to find any way to help that we can. Well, you'd lead right into my next question. Brooke, how can you be contacted if someone who's listening to this has more questions or wants to inquire about your individual services for a senior? Absolutely. So please call our center office. That's going to be at 636-207-0847. And that's reaching our front office. And that's where we um, get you directed to the center that would be closest to you that can service you best. Um, I can be reached at my office line at 636-207-4225. Um, and I'll best assist us however I, however I can. <laughs> okay. Well, Brooke, thank you so much for sharing with us today regarding seniors and dehydration. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and we look forward to hearing from everyone.